Emily, I'm Lauren with Back in Clear Market, and congratulations, you just purchased the Mila Complete C3 Marin. Are you so excited? I know I am. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to walk you through what you should have in your box, what they are, and how to set up and use your machine. So there's taken all of the guesswork out for you. So what I want you to do first is to unbox your vacuum and make sure that you put everything all out and we're gonna verify that you have everything that should be included in your box. Okay, now that you have everything in front of you, I'm gonna tell you what it all is. So this is your canister body. This is your hard flooring attachment, your electric telescoping wand, your electric carpeting power head, and your holes. So make sure you have all of these things present. You also have three specialty cleaning attachments, and those are stored inside the body of your canister. It's pretty exciting. Woo! So you'll never lose your cleaning attachments. So make sure that everything that you see here is in your, was included in your box, and if not, please reach out via phone, email, or live chat. We have everything we're supposed to have. Now I'm gonna tell you a little bit more in depth about each one. Then I'm gonna show you how to put your vacuum together and then you'll be well on your way to cleaning the whole house because that's what you do when you get a new vacuum. <laughs> so this is your electric carpeting power head. This power head specifically has LED lights in front of it so it'll glide your path. Um, meaning you can see what you're going to be picking up. It's great for if you go into hallways or closets where it's dimly lit and you want to be able to see what you're cleaning. It's really nice. So this is your carpeting power head. This carpeting power head has five height adjustments. What that means is you can accommodate any pile of carpeting, which is great. So we always recommend that you start on level five and work your way down to level one just to see what um, setting you're going to end up setting on. Um, ended up deciding on. And that is done by, if you're standing behind the carpeting power head, it'll be on the right hand side. On the left hand side is how you are gonna release your wand from the upright locked position. And I'll let you actually vacuum. <laughs> so this is your telescoping wand. And if you're holding your wand, there's a button on the back of it. And if you press that button, you'll be able to telescope your wand and you have to press the button to um, push it back together as well. That's really nice. That's going to be how you extend your wand and get up in the ceilings and get all those cobwebs. This is your hard flooring attachment. This is a really nice attachment. It swivels, so it'll turn around the corners. Um, it'll, it gets right up to the base of the baseboards, and it's really great on you know around table legs and getting under the furniture. If you want it to lay flat, what you're going to do is you're just going to turn your wand and angle the tool this way, and then you can get under any furniture. It has bristles of varied lengths. I don't know if you can see, but that allows you to get deep in grout lines, any hard flooring lines that you have, like, you know, the little cracks um, on your hard floors. Um, it's great on pet hair. This also saves you from ever having to sweep again. So you just vacuum and then mop, and it's such a time saver. And this is your hose. Your hose has a button on it as well. And there's an X and an O. The X is going to turn your spinning brush roll on your carpeting power head on if that is attached to the wand. The O is think off and that'll turn your spinning brush roll off. And you're probably wondering why do I need to know this and what is that good for? Well, if you have ever vacuumed a rug with tassels, I'm sure you've had it sucked up into your vacuum before. So Mila took the guesswork out of that and they fixed this problem. So if you have a rug with tassels or if you have delicate carpeting that you cannot use a spinning brush roll on, what you're gonna do is you're gonna push the button to O and that's gonna turn off your spinning brush roll and you're just gonna be able to vacuum via pure suction. And then once you get away from that delicate carpeting or away from those tassels, you can turn your spinning brush roll back on and get that deep clean on your carpeted surfaces. So it's really awesome. So next I'm gonna tell you about your bags. So you take the G and bags and they have a blue clip. The box of bags looks just like this and it's going to match the clip that is inside the body of your canister. So this clip that you are seeing right here, 
This is going to stay inside the body of your canister at all times. This is what holds your bag in place. So when you're vacuuming, all of the things that you're sucking up through your hard flooring attachment or your carpeting power head into your hose goes straight into your bag and then it'll go through your filtration system before it, your air escapes out of your vacuum cleaner. So this bag clip is important and it is our most common replacement. People just yank this whole entire thing out and then they wonder why their whole vacuum fills up with debris. Don't do that. Leave your bag clip in, I promise you. So how you take your bag out is you're just gonna wiggle it a little bit and pull down or pull up because you're opposite me. And you pull your bag out. Um, there's really no glamorous way of doing it. You just leave, make sure that you leave your bag clip in. Um, after I remove this bag, you can now see your motor filter, which is in the body of your canister. There's a little blue pull down grate. If you, this was laying how it's probably laying for you with the wheels on the ground, you just pull that little grate down. That's your motor filter. That motor filter is included in the boxes of bags or in a performance pack if you purchase a performance pack. That motor filter is to be changed every four bags or every one box, depending on what kind of quantity of bags that you purchased. So that motor filter is gonna protect your motor. So that's very important to remember to change it every four bags. This is your HEPA filter. HEPA filters are, are good and they're based on time of use. Um, so you can't really say, oh, your HEPA filter is going to last, you know, a year. It's all going to be how often you are cleaning. So if you're an avid cleaner and you are cleaning all the time, you are going to use through your HEPA filter far faster than somebody who's vacuuming once every two weeks. So there is an indicator so you'll know exactly when to change your HEPA filter. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take off this little plastic strip and you're gonna press that little green button on your HEPA filter. If you're looking at your vacuum, you'll know exactly what I mean. And there's a horizontal white line. That white line will start white and then it will fade from red from left to right. So when that line starts creeping and it's almost all the way done, that is gonna be the time that you are gonna to need to purchase a new HEPA filter. Oh, let me put this bag back in. So to put your bag back in, it'll do a little clip sound. You'll know that it's in and you can always, you know, give it a little pull. And then you can just fold your bag into the body of your canister. This is normal. People sometimes freak out because they think the bag is too big. If you think about it, your bag is gonna fill kind of like a pillow to the capacity of your canister. So you get more bang out of your buck to have them a little bit bigger to fill to the capacity. So that tucking in for the initial bag change when you have a new bag, completely normal, I promise. Okay, so now that we went over all the components and the bags and your motor filter and your HEPA filter, I'm gonna show you a little bit about the front of your vacuum. So I mentioned that you have your tools integrated into your canister body, and then you're gonna see some symbols and some buttons down here. The plus and minus button are to adjust your suction levels. There are six suction settings on all Mila's, and they will start out with minimum and go to maximum. So if you're vacuuming, hard flooring, you should pretty much always be on max suction. Carpeting, I personally always have on max as well, but if you have a little bit thicker pile carpeting or you have delicate carpeting, we always recommend you turn down the suction a little bit. It'll be a little bit easier to push over your carpeting. You also have your one-touch cord rewinder, so you just tap it once, your whole cord gets sucked into the body of your canister, so you never have to wind a cord again. And then the other button is your power button. So Mila's come on minimum suction, so make sure you turn them all the way to max suction so you can get the full strength and see just how powerful these Mila motors are. They're pretty awesome. So now I'm gonna show you how to set up your Mila Marin. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to put your bot your canister body just like this and you're going to connect your hose to your canister body. The first time you connect your hose, it's kind of a monster. Um, you might have to use your whole body weight and kind of push it in there. These two little prongs on the opposite end of your handle are going to go in. You'll see there's like a little reservoir. It's like a male, female. Um, I promise it will go in there. It's just going to take a little bit of muscle. So there you go. Oh, that one was really easy. Make a liar out of me. So once you attach your hose to your canister body, the next thing to attach is your wand, which is right here. 
So you're gonna do that. You're gonna hear a nice click. Everything with needles click, it's so nice. And then you can attach your hard flooring attachment or your carpet attachment. I always like to show people right off the bat is that you can attach your hard flooring attachment right here. It's always really nice to be able to, if you're in the middle of cleaning, you get a phone call, something happens, you know, you need to stop to pick up some toys or something. You, you can just, you know, stop, pause. You don't have to turn the whole thing off. You just pause, go pick up, you know, the toys that you need to pick up anything, and then you can keep on cleaning. It's a really nice feature. This is your hard flooring attachment. So this hard flooring attachment will clean all of your hard flooring, even delicate, hard flooring because if you look at it those bristles are very very gentle so this is your carpeting power head and you have a direct connect wand so you just put it in there you hit a little click and this is your power head for your carpeting so if you're standing behind your power head like i am the left lever you step on that it'll release your wand from the upright lock position and that's how you're going to actually be able to clean which is great and then I mentioned that we have the height adjustments and those are on the right side. So if you're standing behind your power head, they're gonna be on the right hand side. You're gonna step on that and you are gonna to toggle between levels one and five. So if you don't know what level you want to be on for your carpeting, start at level five, work your way down. It should be very easy to push your power head over your carpeted surfaces, but it still should be picking up every single thing that is in its path. So. Normal homes with kind of just standard pile carpeting will fall between a level two and three. And then if you have really thick pile or shaggy carpeting, you're probably gonna be on a level four or five. But just remember, this is not supposed to be a workout. This is supposed to be very easy. So your power head has its own independent motor inside of it. And that is what's gonna power through your carpeting. You should not be muscling this through. If you are, you're either on the wrong suction setting or generally you're on the wrong height adjustment for your carpeting power head. So just play around with the different levels. You will find that you'll just instinctively remember, oh, that rug is a level one and this one's a level three and that one's a level four. And then it's easy when you get in the groove of cleaning um, to, you know, just, you know, step on that little switch. So I went over how to install your bags, where your filters are, how to attach your different attachments. Now I'm going to tell you how to detach this carpeting attachment. The little lever on the back of your wand, which is the back portion of your power head, if you step on that and pull your wand up, you'll be able to take off your power head. Let me just attach this and move this to the side. So another thing that I really like to remind people of is that the, the specialty cleaning attachments that are stored inside the body of your canister um, can also be attached to the base of your handle. So it's a really nice feature. Nobody had told me about this and I just can't stop telling everybody about it. So you can attach it to the base of your handle. This is really good if you have upholstered surfaces, um, like the couch, if you're gonna try to um, vacuum out drawers, um, cabinets, things like that. You don't really wanna have to have this wand in the way. It's a really nice thing to know about and a really nice feature to have. So now that we've gone over the bags, the filtration, how to use and um, take apart all of your vacuum attachments for your model, I hope we covered everything and then some. However, if you still have questions, we are always here to help. We have real live customer service um, and they are, I think almost all of them actually do own Mila vacuums now that I think about it. So they're very well versed in the Mila brand, always happy to help troubleshoot anything or answer any questions. If something isn't working right, generally speaking, that's, that's a problem. Either it's a user error thing or you just, you know, it's not the right thing for your needs please make sure you reach out to us and contact us. We are always here to help and we'll do whatever we can to make sure that you purchase the correct vacuum for your needs and that you also know how to use all of the aspects of your machine. I'm Lauren with Vacuum Cleaner Market and this is the Mila Complete C3 Marin. I hope you enjoyed watching. Now go get to cleaning. Happy vacuuming.